What's going on, guys? It's the Bad Wolf. All right, check it out. So this won't be a long video, but interesting nonetheless. So the last GPO Styles Manual that they put out was in 2000. And I'm going to double check this with you guys. But check this out, something that I caught most recently. So in the government's printing office, the GPO styles manual right here, you can see up here. They've kept, let, let, let's check it out what uh, what they got here. So it says nationality. So we already know nationalities is plural for national, which contains the word nation. So this, so they're talking about your nation that you belong to. Nati, N-A-T-I stands for native and N-A-T stands for natural. Okay, so that's all contained in this one word. And it, then it says, et cetera. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is, watch the word magic, okay, the word play. So in section 5.22, the table beginning on page 233 shows forms to be used for nouns and adjectives denoting nationality. Okay, so they do, so what, where, where is citizenship? Guys, shouldn't they be talking about citizenship in here? Citizenship, ship. On water? Nope. Nation, nationality, on land. In designating the natives of what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody added the word several. So thank you, government. Thank you, GPO. Somebody out there caught their little mistake. Instead of saying the natives of the states, the natives of the several states. This is how they refer to nationals. American, de jure, geographic America, continental America, not the U.S. corporation, not the U.S. citizenship. But understand that this, too, can fall underneath the new uh, uh, term, well, I shouldn't say brand new term, but the term um, citizens of the United States. So this can fall underneath there. I don't really care for that, but it legally does from what I've been able to read. But anyway, so they added several because this is how they actually respond, uh, denote the United States of America. So the natives of the several states, meaning the private side, the republic of all the states together, as referred to in the Constitution, has natives. And these natives are denoted by the word Texan, Wisconsinite, Alabamian, Kansan, Hawaiian. So now watch the hijack, okay? 5.24 then says, plainly observe the following forms. So this is your et cetera, okay? Here's where your et cetera comes in. Other terms used, but notice it says comma. These, these this part is just for nationalities, but these other terms, et cetera, have been or are utilized. So African-American, okay? But notice how they have the dash in here. So essentially, to me, you could say this is an African minus American, okay? Or if you're going to look at the whole thing, it's you, if you don't have the dash in there putting it together, your terminology says African-American. They're saying African dash the American. Okay, so when used as this, this has been used here, but it's not considered to be under nationalities. It's in, it's in, the, it's in the house with you, but the room underneath designated the natives. So if you're going to be designated the natives, these are the terms. Otherwise, it would have African-American in here. So they're saying, yeah, you can use these, you know, and loosely they, they, they're in the ballpark as a type of nationality, but it's not actually a real nationality. Say what else? Yeah. Alaskan Native. Okay. Now, I happen to know that the people from there, they don't use the term Eskimo. They use the term Inuit, which I don't see in here. But they're saying if you do use use this Amer Indian, they're saying we know what you're talking about.
All right. So Native American. If you use it, we know what you're talking about. You're basically saying you're an American Indian. We get that. But see, you're an American Indian, but see, then that's not what they got. Puerto Rican or part Hawaiian for a legal status. You see how they're playing with the words here? Part Japanese, and then here they have etc. So they're they're linking it. They're saying, yeah, we you can observe. Observe is to look. So look at the following forms. They didn't say these were also national. They didn't say you are native of the several states. They're saying you can use these, you can call yourself these. And we we basically, we will observe that you have the right to call yourself these things. So be careful in what you call yourself because I'm not an African-American. I don't care how they put this together. Now here you could also then argue, well, but Wolf, you said Native American. Okay, so really, now understand this. As an American native to these lands of the several states known as the geographical United States of America, these are your nationalities. But they're also basically telling you here, if you call yourself these things too, we get it. You're basically putting these on, under the fact that you're in the private and you can use these. But if you notice here, I, I also don't see white American. I don't see European. I don't see white American or even just plain out American. So that's what I said. Careful with the wordplay. Okay. Native American words include tribal and other proper names of Indian. Okay. So. Alut, Hawaiian, and other, other groups, okay, are to be followed literally as to spelling and the uses of spaces and hyphens. So here, so you might be like, oh, well, what are you talking about? There's something that the spaces mean something, hyphens mean something, and et cetera. They're telling you right here that they do. Okay. So be careful in what you call yourself. Now, that's not to mean that calling yourself a Native American, you know, or maybe an American national. They're saying you can call yourself all those things. And as long as you know to say that it falls underneath your designation by the government, underneath 5.24, you're good. But you might want to make sure that you indicate what that means. Okay, so if I'm going to use Native American, I'm going to say, well, I was born in Wisconsin, so I'm a Wisconsinite. I was born in California, so I'm a Californian. But I identify as a Native American because I was born here and I'm in, you know, on the land. I'm private. But if you notice, they don't say anything, you know, really like the closest thing they even have to a specific color would be African to black, but they don't even say black. So why are you checking off that you're a black? You see what I'm saying? I don't see white on here either. So that's it, guys. Do your homework. Be careful in, in what you call yourself. Native of the several states, national, state citizen, Floridian. Just make sure that if you're ever challenged, you can stand on why you're calling yourself what you are. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe on the way out. I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your days. Go get some of that sunlight and be right.